everyone, welcome to the Riverside Township Senior Exercise Class. Today we're coming to you from my gym. I'm Jerry Owen, I have Ed Hannon with me today. And if you'll remember in the last two episodes, I had you find some objects, six objects of different colors. Today we're gonna actually be using those. I'll refresh you on those colors now. So find something that's pink. Find an object that's red. An object that's purple. Green, gold, and finally something that is blue. Okay, so any object you want, they can be all different, some small, some big, whatever you like, something that you can place around the room and you can easily see for us to do this circuit. And it'll make sense in a few moments. After we're done with that, Ed's gonna take us through a nice circuit. So let's get warmed up. Well, let's get right into our color lunge matrix. So we warmed up with uh, a few episodes ago and very often with our multi-directional lunge patterns, okay? Which look like this. This will, should ring a bell with some people. So now we're going to add our colors, which we talked about finding six objects of different colors. So I used cups just to make it easier and for the visual of the camera. So let's find a blue object, your pink object, red, purple, gold, and green. So if I were to say pink, I'm not gonna give you a foot direction, you know your pink object is here. If I say red, and I know my red object's here. If I say gold, I know my gold object's here. And who knows, I might actually call the same color twice. So you have to react. So as soon as I come back to my starting position is when I will fire the colors out. So it's not gonna be the same every time, be in different patterns. We're gonna go through several. I'll break you for 10 seconds, and then we're gonna do one more round, okay? So I'm just gonna call out the colors. I'll give you a second to Make sure you get everything in position. So your lateral ones, you wanna make sure that you're not actually stepping on the object, okay? So you can get close to it. But you have to be able to see it out of your periphery and then, okay? So let's go blue, gold, red, purple, red, purple. Green, blue, pink, red, green, gold, blue, purple, pink, red, gold, green, Blue, purple, pink, red, and rest. Okay, good job. Let's take about 10 seconds and we'll do another round. Ready, and red, purple, red, Purple, blue, green, gold, purple, green, red, pink, red, purple, blue, gold, blue, gold, Green, blue, purple, pink, red, gold, pink, blue, purple, green, and rest. Very nice job. And let's get ready for our second workout. So we're doing an every minute on the minute 
work out, which means that when as soon as I hit the timer, Ed's going to do a certain number of an exercise, and then you're gonna, he's gonna rest the remainder of that minute, and then at the top of the second minute, he's gonna do the same number, same exercise, rest the remainder of the minute. And we're gonna do that all the way down for our five exercises. So our five exercises are squat, and we're gonna do 15 of those. Next, we'll be doing knee drives, and then lateral lunges, push up, and then our either dumbbells, cans of food or water bottles for me doing a row to a kickback, okay? So let's get started with our first exercise, which is squat, and we're gonna do 15 squats. Rest the remainder of the minute, however long it takes you, and then we'll start it all over again. So ready in three, two, one, go. And remember, you wanna load your heels, okay? You don't wanna load into your knees. You can go a lot longer and a lot safer if you load your heels and load your hips. And you'll notice too, Ed has his chest up. That's what you want. You don't want to be rounded when you're squatting, okay? And he's resting now. So rest at home. Don't go very far because the remainder of that minute goes pretty quick. And I'll give you a 10 second warning every time. So 10 seconds, get ready to squat again for 15 reps. In three, two, one, squat. Should be breaking a little bit of a sweat by now, you know. Again, you can do these freestanding or you can do them hanging out to your stable surface, which could be a countertop, a really sturdy table, or a railing, something that's definitely not gonna move when you put your weight on it. Nice. Okay, now we rest the remainder of that minute. And we have one more round of squats, which I'm sure Ed will be glad when they're over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and maybe you at home too. Here's our 10 second warning. <laughs> and we have 15 squats in three, two, one, go. Nice job. And remember, it doesn't matter how deep you go into a squat as long as you're loading your hips and your heels. If you start loading into the knees, that's the danger zone. So you don't want to load the knees, you want to load the hips. So if you want to shorten your distance on your squat, that's totally okay. Just load your hips and heels. Really important. Nice job. All right. And then next, we're doing knee drives. We're gonna do 15 each side. Same concept. We're gonna do it three times, however long it takes you to do it within that minute. And you have the remainder of the minute to rest. 10 second warning. 15 knee drives each side. Ready in three, two, one, go. And remember to keep your chest up nice and tall on these. Nice job, Ed. The rest time goes quick. Because <laughs> I'm giving you your 10 second warning now. <laughs> and you can do your knee lifts this way in three, two, one, go. 15 on each side. This is a 
another way you could do them, hanging onto your, supported by your stable surface, okay? Remember, you don't want your stable surface to be unstable, like a wobbly chair or table or anything like that. Ain't nothing that's gonna move on you. Nice job, Ed. Good job. All right, we have one more round of the knee lifts. 10 second warning. Knee lifts ready in three, two, one, go. Very good exercise for balance. Again, if you feel like you're gonna lose your balance, or you can't do it safely, then you can put your hands down on your surface. Nice job. So next we're doing lateral lunges. Uh, Ed will demonstrate those. And you wanna make sure your toe is relatively straight ahead. And again, you wanna load your hips here as well. 10 second warning. So you don't wanna to shift too far into the knee. We're gonna alternate it for 10 on each side. And three, two, one, go. We're gonna alternate each side. So it'll be 20 total. 10 on each, each side. Try to keep your shoulders square with the floor. Not too much rotation there while you're doing these. Nice job, everyone. Nice job, Ed. Keep it moving. You can shorten your range on these as well. Just make sure the weight is in your heel. So you should not be coming up onto the ball of the foot at all with that traveling leg. Rest. Nice job. I'm sure, the muscles are fatiguing now. Yeah, yeah, good. Breaking a good sweat. Ten seconds. Round two of these. Again, you're gonna hold on to a stable surface. Three, two, one, go. Weight in the heels, trying to come up into the toes. If you feel any of this in your knee, try and reposition, try to shift back into your heel a little bit more so you get your, your glutes to do a lot more of the work. And this is good for the abductors. Constant lateral movement is really good because you gotta think in, in life we're constantly going forward, constantly going forward in our day. So to get that variety and get some lateral movement is really important. Okay. 10 second warning. <laughs> lateral lunges round two. In three, two, one, three, sorry, round three. I stand correct. <laughs> you don't want to do extra? <laughs> nice job. Mm -hmm. Nice job. All right. Now we have our push-ups. So we're doing 15 push-ups, three rounds. Here's a 10 second warning now. And ready for 15 push-ups in three, two, one, go. And make sure your shoulders stay nice and depressed. You don't want to elevate your shoulders when you're doing this, okay? That'll put strain on your neck. Keep your shoulders down. 
and kind of visualize your shoulder blades like squeezing something, like maybe a, a soda can, squeezing in between the shoulder blades so we make that really active. It's a good postural movement here to build range in your thoracic spine and your, your shoulder blades or your scapula. Nice job, Ed. You earned a rest. <laughs> well, you got a total of 30 more to go. So. <laughs> nice work. Nice work at home. 10 second warning. We have 15 push ups again. In three, two, one, go. And push ups is another thing that you can do partial as well. You don't have to go all the way down. You can find your comfort zone, but you still want to follow the same rules. My shoulders are depressed down, and I'm just kind of squeezing my shoulder blades together. And you can push to a range that feels comfortable for you. Still recruiting all the same muscles that Ed is going all the way down. Same muscles if you're going all the way down to the ground. Nice, we have one more set of those. You get a little rest there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, 10 second warning, you can uh, feel some more. <laughs> All right, ready in three, two, one. Last round of push ups. Keep working hard. Keep your abs tight. Breathe, real important. Don't hold the breath too long. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. job Ed. All right, so rest. We have three more exercises left. Next is our row to kick back. Just like that. And you can use your water, your cans, your dumbbells. If you don't have any of that, just make fists, okay? You can use the same thing. It's just about the range of motion. So ready in three, two, one, and go. Row, so we're working the back muscles here, and then when he kicks back, he's working the tricep muscles. We're doing 15 of these. When he's done with 15, and you're done with 15, you should feel a little burn. The back of the arms, possibly in the back. Nice job, Ed. Again, even if you're using a weight or resistance, uh, the bottles, the cans, the dumbbells, if you start to overly fatigue, then sit them down. You can finish off with just making the fists, okay? And real important not to, when you're doing your kickbacks, is not to swing your upper arms, okay? 10 second warning. <laughs> Two exercises, you can make it, you can make it. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, go. You'll notice his upper arm, once it gets tucked into his body, before he kicks back, it's stable. And then he comes back and then rows. So you can kind of get a little more bang for your buck with this exercise. You can get your back and your triceps all in one. Compound movement. And again, don't have to have equipment. One more exercise, one more time. Don't go far. Here's your 10 second warning now. Last and final. 15 reps in three, two, one, go. Nice job.
Any of these exercises you can do at home. You can pick other exercises that we've done throughout these, these videos. Um, and you can set a little timer or watch the second hand on your clock. And you can do this anytime you want. Great exercise. Great routine. Very nice job. Good job, good job at home. And thanks to Ed for, uh, for doing all the exercises. <laughs> and we'll see you next time, thank you.